saw a post about, um, I guess a little boy was in the barbershop, right? And um, I guess he didn't want to get his hair cut. So he starts kicking and screaming and everything like this. And this is a black-owned business, I guess, whatever. Nothing but African-American women and men around us watching this little boy kick and scream, throwing his boots around. I mean, looking at the video, you would think this was like little Tommy or little Timmy or some shit like that. And it blew me away because... You know, normally we would see, you know, white kids or maybe even, you know, Latino kids, Mexican kids doing some shit like this, but never in our nationality, never in our community, never in our, our, and you know what I'm saying, never in our shit, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, excuse my French, but it was amazing to see that because, you know what I'm saying, like we come from a totally different background when it comes to discipline. Now me, for one, like a lot of other people, but I can only speak and relate to myself but, you know what I'm saying, I'm sure I could have got a million more ass whoopings. But definitely, I had discipline, or at least I never disrespected my mother in this way. And nobody in my family will ever disrespect their mother in that way, or so on and so forth. So it's like, you know, they got, I know it has, like, a lot of, when it comes to rules, laws, and shit like that, when it comes to disciplining your children. Because now these kids have gotten so out of hand that they go back and tell their teachers, or, you know, they make up lies that can actually get people, parents, and adults in trouble from the way that they go about disciplining their kids back at home, which is even more fucked up. So it's like now you got to worry about your kid going out there running their mouth and the police or um, Social Security come and knock on your door to take your kid away because you smacked them or you try to discipline them and then they went and ran their mouth because that's the type of shit that they see on the Internet. You know, kids fighting their teachers and stuff like that. That shit got to stop. It is horrible. It's horrible. And it's, it's really bad because... I look at a lot of situations, I'm like, well, how can we stop this? And then it's like, well, how did this even start? <laughs> but um, not to veer off too much, but I thought that that was amazing. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I don't know what it is that can be done to, you know what I'm saying, to fight that type of laws or, you know, to keep people out of our business. Because at the end of the day, you know, we have to be stronger. We have to be tougher um, on not necessarily just discipline, but the filters of, um, social media and, you know, conversation and stuff that goes in and out of the minds of our next generation, because when it comes to discipline, it shouldn't be that difficult. It doesn't matter how old or how young the child is for them to be able to act out like that or for you to be resistant towards how you should deal with your child, because now you're scared that somebody's going to come knock on your door. I'm pretty sure I don't have any kids, so I can't say, but... I know that that can't be an easy situation, but if anybody can bring a light to it, you know what I'm saying, whether it's to smack the, the mother because she ain't fucking doing what she's supposed to do or to smack the person that made the law so therefore we can make sure these kids ain't doing dumb shit and that they're being raised right. Because if this little boy that was fucking kicking and screaming in that barbershop like that is about to be my next president or the president of my grandkids or my, my nieces and nephews, then that's going to be a problem. You know what I'm saying? So... I'm not with that shit, <clears throat> but anyway, if you feel me, you feel me, if you don't, you don't, I just thought I'd bring that up, because I, I thought that's pretty silly, but maybe I should do some more research on it, or if you got a comment, or you got a video or something that's relating to that, or how you feel about that, then go ahead and comment, let me know what you think, and um, you know, or say something, because when I saw that, I was lost, <laughs> for real, anyway, hope everybody has a good one, I mean that. Over and out.